Hey, so today I'd like to introduce you to five simple morning habits that make your life a bit happier. They're so simple but powerful habits that might change your life. I highly recommend them, especially the third one. So please look forward to it. Okay then, let's roll. First, open the windows. This is such an important habit that you can feel happy in the morning. Not only you can breathe in the morning fresh air, but you can also replace the ki at the same time. That's why it's important. Have you heard of ki? To explain it simply, ki is a unique Japanese belief that stands for energy. For example, if you hold a lot of ki in your body, your health will improve. We Japanese call that condition, genki, a source of ki. On the other hand, you lack some ki when you are exhausted. And we call it kigatsukiru, you're out of ki. In other words, you can paraphrase ki as life energy. Japanese believe in the existence of ki not only in humans, but in various things such as plants, animals, water, space, and even stones. That's why in the anime Dragon Ball, Goku is able to collect ki from all over the earth. In Japanese, we call this chunk of energy Genki Dama. Anyway, let's go back to where we were. So, Japanese also believe that between those ki, there are good ones and bad ones. For example, in abandoned houses or haunted places, some bad ki stays. And good ki lives somewhere holistic like temples, shrines, and clean and organized places. Now, here is the question. What happened to the ki in your room in the morning after you sleep? The room you just woke up in, you can say the ki is pretty bad, since it's filled up with the tiredness that came out of your body throughout the night. So that's why you need to let go of these bad ki out of windows and take in the morning fresh and clean air instead, which has the good ki. So your room will be filled with good energy and you'll have a happy start to the day. It's very simple, so please try it out. Second, try to find something you're grateful for today. This is a method I do every morning to create a slightly happy feeling. It's about finding things that are usually taken for granted but can be appreciated. For example, a peaceful morning, the fact that I woke up healthy again today, the clean water floating from the faucet, my smiling face in the mirror, being able to clean the toilet, taking a shower in the morning, being able to see. This may seem ordinary to me, but there are many things that are not ordinary for others. If I think about it in this way, isn't it amazing? Aren't we happy enough? In order to notice these kinds of things, I write down at least one thing that I'm grateful for every morning in my journal. I assure you, I always write M G L M. This is about today's highlight. I call it today's matcha moment nowadays. So, I write capital M G. This is what I'm grateful for. For example, this morning, morning fresh air, L. This is something I want to let go of from my habit. This method works for me, so maybe for you too. Please give it a try. Third, whisper the magical words when you drink water. So ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the most amazing method my friend, who always seems happy, told me recently. Honestly, I've been doing this these days, and I realize it's working pretty well. In the morning when you drink a cup of water, instead of just drinking it, Try whispering something like, Thank you so much for making this wonderful miracle happen today. And then drink water. And it's so magical that a real miracle happens. You might find it sketchy, but it's true. For example, there was a miracle that happened on the day when I filmed this video. I was at the house of Kentaro in LA. He's the owner of the organic matcha company called Chaffinity, who loves matcha very much and is also a tea practitioner. I'm a Japanese samurai as well as a YouTuber and a tea practitioner who loves matcha very much. He and I had a lot of in common in the first place. 
We both love matcha, so today we were enjoying some outdoor matcha by hiking the mountains in Hollywood. Okay, let me introduce the matcha he makes. Honestly, I was shocked when I had his matcha for the first time because I've never had such a delicious organic matcha before. First, you feel the profound aroma before you drink it. And then the mild taste of matcha as it comes into your mouth go through your throat so smoothly. Wow, what a high quality matcha is this! Yeah, I was like that. Then I asked him for the secret, and he told me that tea farmer cares about making a healthy land so much that the soil with rich minerals makes such a great matcha. I'm drinking this matcha with lots of their love every day now. If you use the discount code SAMURAI at checkout, you can get an 11% of discount on your purchase on the Trafinity website. I'll put the link in the description, so please check it out if you're interested. Okay, back to our story of a miracle I had. We went to a cafe after enjoying the matcha outside, and we started to talk about our birthdays. And then the miracle happened. Our ages are different, but our birthday were on the same day. Moreover, we found out that one of his employees has the same birth time as me. Wow! This is how we reacted at that moment. I can't call it anything but destiny if we have so much in common. Right? Yeah, this is what happened when I took a video of this. Of course, this drinking water method is not based on any specific proof, but based on my experience, these miracles do happen often. So believe it or not, try it by yourself. Fourth, picking up the trash. After drinking the water, I usually go for a walk. And while I take a walk, I pick up one or two pieces of trash on the street. Picking up the trash? Mm, no way! You might think like this, but this is the method that I always do and it makes me happy in the morning. So, why does picking up the trash make you happy? Because this is something many people aren't willing to do and that's why you'll feel such a great accomplishment after doing it. And you can clearly see that the city got a bit cleaner. Plus, the best part of the picking up the trash is that it makes both our neighbors and the whole earth happy. If you do this while traveling, you can clean the world. Isn't it great? And yeah, I usually do this without gloves so that I can be more humble and feel even more accomplished. But you can also wear gloves, of course. So why don't we pick up the trash every morning together? Fifth, make a routine of preparing a good drink. A lot of you watching my channel might be drink some matcha in the morning. Some might prefer coffee as well. It's okay to make it simple and sip it quickly. But I recommend making a routine of preparing it and enjoying fully drinking every single cup. Why? Because that routine makes you calm down and almost like you're doing zen. And if you focus on each step of the process, you'll be released from the anxiety and rush. The busier you are, you need to make your drink neater. And the happiness go through your whole body as you drink the cup you made with your heart. Oh, I could drink this cup of matcha this morning again. Even this fact makes me appreciate my life today. Okay. So today I talked about 5 simple morning habits that make your life a bit happier. What did you think about it? Each habit is very simple, so please give it a try. Do you have any morning habits that make you happy? If you have, let me know in the comments. Well then, have a lovely day everyone! Bye bye!